And the government has joined forces with TSTT to launch the Future Leaders Program aimed at equipping young people with skills in technology, communications and artificial intelligence. Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bisasa met with the first cohort on Thursday at a ceremony at the Diplomatic Center. Carrie Roberts tells us more in this report. 600 young people out of 17,000 applicants were selected for the first cohort of the inaugural B-Mobile Future Leaders Program. Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bisesa applauded the telecommunications services of Trinidad and Tobago, TSTT, for their support of young people and reiterated her passion for youth development. She also emphasized the importance of technical and vocational training. We must invest in tech talk education because not everyone is into academia. But without the skills from tech talk, a nation cannot grow. So that is a very important thing. So I say, Empower youth through AI and digital skills. Invest in tech talk education so young people gain practical, future-ready competencies. Promote ethical and inclusive digital literacy. The group was chosen through a merit-based selection process and will be undertaking the program across Trinidad and Tobago, working with volunteer facilitators, educators, and industry professionals. While these 600 will receive particular attention, the program still poses benefit for all applicants. So from thousands of applicants, you 600, you were selected. And yet every applicant still benefits through a free two-day course, AI course, designed for non-technical learners, covering fundamentals, key risks, and real-world uses. So whilst you 600 have been selected, I'm told from the thousands of applied, Minister, is that correct, that they will, there will be for all who apply a two-day AI course um, which you can benefit from. So if you're not selected to be on track, on course, TSC, the Board and Management and BWMAL, you will still benefit. Minister in the Ministry of Public Utilities, Clyde Elder, shared on why the decision was taken to fund the program. But like me, you too, were not intended to be here today. But because of a new government, and a government that cares, and especially our Prime Minister who cares about young people, you are here today. And you are here today because a decision was taken to take funds that were otherwise intended for two individuals and use those funds for 600 interns. The program will see them intern at the company for three weeks to be trained in technical, sales, telecoms, and customer service, among other areas within the field in a real-world environment. Carrie Roberts, TTT News. Youth development will stay central in the upcoming national budget. That's the promise from Prime Minister Kamla Pasad Bisasa while speaking at TSTT's Future Leaders Internship Program. She outlined the critical importance of technical vocational education and urged her cabinet to do what is required to ensure youth are prioritized. Take notice, Minister of Plan Planning and Minister of Finance and all ministers. Youth development must be at the center of whatever we do in the upcoming budget. We must invest in tech for education again for practical development, educational training, TVET skills for future ready skills. It must promote ethical, inclusive, digital literacy for responsible innovators. It must create pathways to decent work and entrepreneurship alignment, training with industry demand, and expand, expand financing for youth-led enterprises. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister assured that there will be more technical vocational educators to cater for the needs of youth. In her message following United Nations International Youth Skills Day and the International Youth Day, she outlined several commitments. One, empower youth through AI and digital skills. Invest in tech work, educational training, and I want to commend my Minister of Education uh, for bringing for us to the Cabinet 
a cabinet note to have a policy to bringing more tech for teachers into the secondary school system.